Hello, my friends. Jacob is here. Thank you for joining me. Happy Father's Day to the fathers of the world today. Um, and I think that it's an appropriate day to share this, this little insight, this insight that I've used in my life and has been an incredible part in helping my children to become who they are and getting them ready for the next day that is coming. It's called the power of the blessing. Now, I, you've probably heard of this before, okay? You know, when, uh, when you hear about people being blessed, you know, oh, you, you send in your money and we're going to be blessed. You're going to be blessed. You don't understand what the, um, the seed that you're supposed to sow is. In Scripture, the seed that is sown is the, uh, the truth of God. It's a spoken word. Logos is, a, uh, is kind of the word that is known. It's associated with this, with, with Christ, with the, uh, the anointing of the truth. Okay, so you have this thing called a blessing. And in Scripture, you hear often about how uh, Jacob especially, that, you know, God would bless those that bless Jacob, and he would curse those that curse Jacob. It's the power of our words. They're a blessing and a curse. I've, uh, I've covered this a lot in, in my videos, and I don't think I've ever come out and actually just done a uh, just a one-on-one -on -one with all of you about this. But today, being Father's Day and all, I really felt like I had to. I really felt like today was one of those days where people need to know that their words have power. You know, with my children, I, today, especially on Father's Day, I decided that um, I was going to send them kind of like one of those blessings. I was going to tell them how incredibly grateful that I am to be their father. But I was going to also tell them who they are and where they're going. Now, I've been doing this their whole lives. Whether or not they believe it, that's on them. You know, you're supposed to train a child up in the way they should go, not the way that you think they should go. That's a big problem in parenting today. A lot of people think that, um, you know, you gotta, if you spare the rod, you spoil the child, but they don't understand that the rod is the truth of God. It has nothing to do with beating your kids. You beat animals, you know, and that's not what you want in life. Now, I'm not saying don't correct your children. I am not, please, good grief. Everybody, everybody's always looking for something to uh, complain about and, and poke fun at and say, this is why you shouldn't listen. Let me tell you something. Love, love leads a multitude to repentance. Love. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well, you know, you're not loving a child if you allow them to do the wrong thing. So you got to beat them and whack them and put them into place. Now, I've seen... Um, I've seen child abuse, you know, and I got to tell you something. Many times what people consider to be love, it's not love at all. Now, this is taking an interesting turn because I didn't expect to be talking about this. But I want you to understand that the, the, the rod that we're talking about is the authority and the power of truth and, and um, the, 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 the authority and the power of the spoken word. The, 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 now, now, Aaron's rod bloomed, right? It blossomed. Okay, so in other words, Aaron, which means light bringer, by the way, I think that's pretty interesting. His rod blossomed, it bloomed, and, and, and my goal in life is to take all of you from standing in the shade and bring you into the light of truth. And that truth being that your words have incredible power. That's why uh, even the Hebrew tradition of, of blessing a child when, as, a, as a bat mitzvah, when you would, you would tell that, that boy who's now a man, you put that blessing on them. In Scripture, the blessing of God was like everything. You know, you wanted it. When, 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 when Joseph brought his two children, Manasseh and Ephraim, to uh, Jacob, his father, who was, you know, on his deathbed and said, you know, Dad, bless, bless, bless your grandkids, right? He, he put his hand on the secondborn. It wasn't the firstborn. Joseph thought, oh my goodness, wait a minute, you're supposed to be blessing the firstborn. That was Manasseh. But he named Manasseh the first portion of his life because he was suffering. He was a servant. He was a slave. He was beat down. He was hurt. Joseph had some trouble, man. Every time, you know, and he was a good dude, but he kept getting knocked down and down. But every time he was in the depths of prison, every time that it looked like he couldn't get out, you know what happened? God blessed him. He ended up ruling. He ended up becoming the, the, the second most powerful, important person and powerful person in the entire world because he interpreted the dream. He understood. He understood that there was seven years of plenty and we're entering a time of drought and famine. You see? The seven year tribulation that everybody is talking about. Seven years that I've been talking about between those two eclipses. Do I think that it's connected? I don't know, you tell me. But it sure does seem that we're entering a famine of truth. On Father's Day, of all things, 
What a beautiful lesson to learn if you could understand the power of the blessing. This is what I did with my children, okay? I sent each of them a very heartfelt text, and I hope that this becomes a new tradition because I want you to understand that your words have so power, so much power that whatever you believe, right, about the person you're telling, if you sell, tell your son, you are good for nothing, you're never going to amount to anything, you keep messing up, guess what you're doing? It's like water in a plant, man. And that plant is going to grow up to be withered and cursed, or it's going to thrive and bud like Aaron's rod. So what kind of words are you putting out to your children today? I hope that your words are encouraging ones. I hope you're telling them that they are there for you. They're not a curse to you. They are the greatest gift to you. So Father's Day should really be more about us fathers coming together and spending the good, heartfelt time in thought, meditation, prayer, whatever you want to call it, about each of our children about each of those that are even children, maybe spiritual children to us. Um, it doesn't matter. Father figures, those people that are working at, at a place and you, they, they don't have that. Like I didn't have a father, you know, and you know that my father passed away and I never got to meet him. Got his ashes though, I met a couple other brothers. So being a father, man, that's why I always turned to God because I always knew that there was only one father for me. There was only one source. It was all about this, man, the power of the blessing. And I've learned about the power of the blessing, and I hope that you have too, because let me tell you something. Your words have such great, great, great worth and great weight and great power that if you don't start using your words the right way, and I'm not talking about just saying bad words and everything else. I'm talking about speaking blessings upon your life instead of curses. Whatever you say, when you say to somebody, you say, uh, you can't do that. You can't do this. You can't build a, a YouTube channel with just an iPhone from 19 something. That's right. Every video I do to you is on an iPhone 5. That's because I don't, because don't tell me what I can and I can't do because I have faith and I understand the power of the blessing and I've been blessing myself and I'm pouring that blessing out hopefully on all of you and I've poured it out on my children and I hope that you do the same and I hope that you understand that love draws a multitude to change. You want your children to get off drugs? Don't send me money, right? That's what the church says. So money to uh, those that are thieves and are asking for it, but so love as a token of uh, appreciation. So love into your children. So encouragement into your children, even when they're messing up the most, because that's what being a father is all about after all. Use the power of the blessing. Your words have power. Do it at the table when you have dinner together. Just speak blessings upon them. This works. That's why it's in like every single faith. So do me a favor and get this video out. Share it around. Tell people about it. Tell people about the power of the blessing and wish them a happy Father's Day and remind them what being a daddy is all about. And it's all about raising good children that are going to flourish in bud. I love each and every one of you. Please do subscribe. Check the bell for notifications. And I'm going to try to get a video out to you Tuesday. If I don't, forgive me. Uh, I got a lot of stuff that's going on. You all going to be excited about it when you find out. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.